guys, welcome back. I have a book for you today. Today we're just gonna do a story. So I have this book, it's called Chicka Chicka One, Two, Three. This book is special. You can tell it's a little different because it has a barcode here and then it shows that it's a library book. So I can tell because my books at my house don't have barcodes and they usually don't have little stickers on the spine that help the librarian shelve the book. This one also has this plastic cover on there. Some of you might know what it's called and some of you might not. It protects the book. This looks just like the inside of the book, but since it's a library book and it gets borrowed by hundreds of people, this keeps the book clean. It has a special name. Do you know? Book jacket. It's not like my vest. It's not a jacket to keep the book warm. It just keep, protects the book. It keeps it clean. So this book has a book jacket. That's our word for today. Book jacket. I noticed something right away when I got this library book. Look at one of the pages. When you borrow a book or even your own books at home, you need to take care of your books. You don't step on them. You don't leave them on the floor and you definitely don't rip your pages. If you do, you should probably put some tape on it. I'll take this one up before I return it to the library. I see a lot of numbers on this page. This week we've been talking about the letter B and this is, these are not letters. These are numbers. Zero all the way to 20. Here's our title page. That's another good vocabulary word. Book jacket, title page. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Here we go. One told two and two told three. I'll race you to the top of the apple tree. And I see a little number peeking out over here. Scream really loud if you know that number. Zero. Climb says four to five and six. Write little numbers that join the mix. Hurry, yelled seven to number eight. Slowpoke fellow who's always late. That's actually my favorite number. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? There's our friend Zero. Here comes nine to the apple tree. Next comes 10 and then 11. Wow, these apples taste like heaven. Number 11 has taken a bite out of one of these apples. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Where does Zero wanna go? He wants to go up the apple tree too. Hot pink 12, lucky 13, picking apples red and green. 14, 15, can't you see? They all want to climb the apple tree. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? 16's next to make the scene. Climbing branches with 17. 18, 19, one more's 20. Numbers, numbers, there are plenty. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? It's getting full. Looks like the branches are starting to bend and the apples are falling from the tree. Curvy 30, flat foot 40, climbing up to join the party. 50's fine and 60's dandy. 70's hair is long and sandy. And I like my color, sandy color. Chicka chicka. One, two, three. Will there be a place for me? I bet you're starting to see the pattern. Let's climb more, says treetop 80. Higher, higher, up to 90. Until at last there's 99 and all the numbers are feeling fine. Except for zero, who begins to fly. 
Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for? Oh no, buzzing close. Bumblebee is zero height behind the tree. Get out of our tree, the bumblebee shout, and all the numbers tumble out. Why did the numbers leave? Yes, they were afraid of the bumblebees. 90, 80, 70 fall. Hit the ground in a free for all. 60, 50, 40 run. No more climbing, no more fun. 30 next and sweet little 20. Numbers, numbers, no longer. Plenty. 19, 18, my oh my, frightened numbers jump and fly. 17, 16, 15 more. Now 14 has hit the floor. He's even upside down. And 13, two, a lucky guy. 12 had almost touched the sky. Do you see zero hiding? Bent up 11, wait, where is 10? 9, 8, 7, follow then. Twisted 6 and top hat 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take a dive. There's 10. Chicka, chicka, 1, 2, 3, now I know the place for me. Hmm, I wonder what this place is. Zero leaps into the sky. Brave little number. He's not shy. Zero lands on top of the tree. He joins with 10. Now 100, you see. There was 10. And we added another zero. And now we have 100. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Here's the place that's just four. All the numbers come back out, higher and higher as they shout. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Zero's hero of the number tree. Whoa, look at all of these numbers. The front cover showed us zero to 20, but when we go to the back, zero, all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. To 100. Whoa. If you want, maybe you could try counting to 100. Find a quiet place with your mom or your dad or even an older brother or sister and see how high you can count. Maybe you can just count to 12. That's good. Maybe you can count to... 40. That would be amazing. See if you can go all the way to 100. I have one more activity for you. You could just enjoy the book or if you want at home, you can try this activity. It's a little bit of engineering. I have my toilet paper roll again. It's my cylinder and we talked about the base is a circle. This is going to be the trunk of my tree. I have these Popsicle sticks. You might have had a popsicle on them and dried them off. Mine are craft sticks that I bought at the store. I want you to take them and lay them on your trunk of your tree like branches. See how many you can do. I have one, two, three, four, try not to let them fall off, five, Seven, eight, nine. I just grabbed a handful. I got nine. See if you could do ten without them falling off. If you can do that, here's the next step. You might have magnet numbers at home. You could use those, or you could just have your mom or somebody write for you the numbers one to ten on little pieces of paper and cut them out. I have these numbers already, so I'm going to take out 
These numbers were already from a different project, so I'm going to use them again. I'm going to put them in the right order on the tree and see if they'll stick in the tree like in the book. One, two, you can count with me, three, four, five, six numbers. Maybe you could do ten numbers. If you already know one to ten really easy, maybe you can do one to twenty. That would be cool. If you know one to twenty, you could even get fancy and maybe do cards that count by ten to one hundred. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. The key is to make sure that all your branches and all your numbers stay on the tree. That is the challenge. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.